This is unreal. If this actually works. Against mittens? Can I do it? Can I do it? I have been trying for so long. This is like my millionth take, guys. All right, mittens. Here we go. Your greatest challenge yet. Viewers, for those of you who have been living under our rock, this cute little devil is named Mittens. She is Chess.com's latest bot, allegedly with an elo of one, according to Chess.com, with an elo of one, but has been sending the internet absolutely crazy because she's destroying everybody. Nobody can beat her. The destroyer of kings. However, however, she lives through all space and time forever. But so does the bush gas gambit. It is Mittens' greatest challenge. Let's go. We have an acceptance of the bush gas gambit. She's very confident. She's very, very confident. But. I was actually ready to abandon this game because Mittens didn't play what I wanted. <laughs> but Mittens is playing interesting now. Okay, threatening mate. And oh. Wait a second. Wait a second, Mrs. Mittens. This is a line that you are in some danger. There's some sharp lines here. Bishop g4, d4 takes. Uh, do I think you're going to get that whole line right? She might. The other move is this sharp line. Bishop f4, just trying to go g5, g4. There's a lot of moves to get right here. Bishop g4 is d4. Take the queen. So, okay. Bishop g4 takes. There's queen h2 mate. So, there's some sharp lines here. d4. Maybe it was my speedy play. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the trick, but take the queen, take the queen. And then it's like, take, what is the move there? Take e4, take g7, rook g8, f3. It's a, it's a very long, complicated line. Okay, I'll, I assume she's probably going to get all that. So the other option I have is bishop f4, g5, g4, which is also very strong. So the idea, I wasn't even commentating. I thought I was going to delete this take, but the idea of queen h4. So we attacked f2 and e4. Queen f3 defended both those things, but now queen h6 pins the bishop, so there's no d4. And so castles now introduces d4 by protecting the bishop, but bishop d6, h3. Okay, play bishop f4, there's rook e1. So, okay, presumably the point is bishop g4 takes queen h2, the king can run away to e2. So I think my idea is just g5 and g4. So I don't have to lose a bishop to get this. But, okay, e5 maybe? Oh, she plays g3. Interesting. I guess queen takes h3, queen g2 is the point. So, okay. If I go bishop h3, and then Mittens takes my bishop, and then rook g8. Could be very strong. Okay, what if I take it with the bishop instead of with my queen? So takes, I'm gonna prepare to give up that bishop. Okay, but she goes back, bishop f1. Mittens is not infallible, but... It's very close. A g4, take, take, queen g2. Bishop g4, queen g2. I need to retreat. Yeah, and then she's solid. Okay.
Bishop back, queen g2, queen h5. Take, take. Or if I start with rook g8 right now, then f3. That's not good. So if I sacrifice this bishop as well, take, take. My point being, I want this g file. But she strikes with e5. So I need bishop f3 and h4 in like one move, but I can't. Well, bishop f3, queen h2. Take, take. Check king g1. Damn, I just need that h file open. Rook g well in in that position okay probably nothing so i go here now you take my bishop okay but do you give me anything when you take my bishop? We have gf4 here. Or g8 coming? Perhaps. Perhaps. d3 seems very tame, all things considered. We have bishop f3, queen h3. Check, king h2. Queen g5 threatens queen g1. Bishop e2. Okay, or I just start with rook g8, which I guess makes more sense, right? And d2 is the point. Then castles long. I mean, the goal would just be to win the queen. Is this doable? Or just rook g8 right here? What was Mittens' grand plan? Plays d3 to go c4. Alright, well if I move my knight, then takes and bishop g3. And so that's... Absolutely cannot be allowed. I have a crazy idea, which is bishop f3, take the rook. Then king up. You take my other rook, then queen h1. Holy crap, is this a good idea? Bishop f3 takes king e7. She can go back queen g2. But then I can go <laughs> rook g8. What? cd5, queen h3. Hold on a second. What? Unreal. Wait, am I? This is unreal. This is unreal. If this actually works... Against mittens? Can I do it? Can I do it? I have been trying for so long. This is like my millionth take, guys. And all of those was me trying to do preparation, but this is just me on my own. <laughs> this, is, this has gotten me very honest right now. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, wait. That's the queen hanging. Oh my goodness, I did not think I was keeping this take. Rook g8? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, I cannot mess this up. Wait, this has to be winning. Because I can take this queen literally right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, rook g8. Okay, if you take this rook, I have queen h1, mate. 182. Oh my goodness, I forgot about this idea. I'm so nervous I'm gonna mess this up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I just need to take this queen. I just need to take this queen and then f3. And then I'm gonna do it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you little devilish cat! You little devil! Take the queen! The light that burns twice as bright burns half as long. Oh. That feels like some th someone, something that someone is losing would say. That I am burning twice as bright. <laughs> I better not burn half as long. Okay, it's funny only now I'm taking so much time. Queen g4, queen g2, this is just ends the game. 
This just ends the game. This is just me. My voice has gotten so squeaky. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, queen g4, king f1. I just take it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. F3 also makes a lot of sense. I think you have to take it. Queen takes F3. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, or Queen H3, King F1. Do, do I do I just have a mate right now? With like, with like Queen takes. Okay, F3. F3 is threatening me. <laughs> it's like I was breezing through the moves where where I got my winning advantage and now I need to spend so much time. Okay, we took the knight, we've got this. King F1, we are going to win. I am going to win this game. I am going to win this game. There is no way I'm going to mess this up. There is just no way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we're threatening to take F2. Oh, check, I didn't see that. But you're just, you're just throwing stuff away. She's just throwing stuff away. This is something desperate. Meow, that looks like a check, but it looks like a desperate check. It looks like a desperate check. Okay, king back. Bishop defends mate. Rook h2, rook h1. How do you stop it? How do you stop it? I'm not even going to take your bishop. I'm not even going to take your bishop, you little devilish kitten. I'm threatening mate here. Rook e2. Rook h2. We are going to beat Mins with the bush gas gambit. Oh, wait. Oh, you can keep running. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. Okay. You can keep running. <laughs> okay. It's not me yet. It's not me yet. It's not me yet. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. 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 Here I could just take the rock. Okay. Or queen takes d3 if we want to get fancy. If we want to get fancy. Do I want to get fancy? Uh, I'm so scared. Okay. No fear, no fear. How did I get to this point? How did I get to this point? It wasn't with fear. It wasn't with fear. <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys. Okay. Get a hold of yourself, William. What are you doing? <laughs> Take. Threatening rook h1. It's made again. King d2, I, I could have taken that. Okay. I can now come back queen f3, king e1, and just do the same thing. But I can also just go check and take things. I can also, also just move, just save my knight. Everything's winning here. Everything's winning. Everything's winning. Dude, we've totally got this. We 1 million percent got this. Check. Wait. Wait. <gasps> It's me! It's me! We're going to beat! We're gonna beat Mittens! We're gonna beat Mittens! I... Let's give it. With no assistance at all. With no assistance. That wasn't even my prep. We are going to beat Mittens with the bush grass of it. Oh my goodness. It's queen of three. It's checkmate next move. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, are we ready for this? Are we ready for this? Are we ready for this? We're going to beat Mittens! We are going to beat Mittens! Oh yes! <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> oh my god! What? How? You cheated! I didn't even cheat! I mean, meow! Oh my god! Oh my god, YouTube! Oh my god, YouTube! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're doing a game review. We're gonna do a game review. I am in shock. You have no idea how long I've been trying to beat Mittens with the Bush Gas Gambit. <laughs> I have been trying for so long, and I've been prepping in Stockfish longer and longer and longer lines, and then she'd deviate from them, and then she wouldn't do the things. This was just... Oh my god, and I wasn't even going to keep this take. I have never... I just... I've never even felt, like, the, that level of exhilaration in my life. <laughs> that was insane. That was absolutely insane. Okay. 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 Chess. Let's explain chess. Okay. Nice C6. Nice C6. Okay. So this is the Bush Gas Gambit. You can find more. You can find me beating Stockfish on my channel. We have to analyze this game.
we have to analyze this game. We have to look at all the maybe brilliancies that I did. I beat Stalkers on my channel, and you can learn to play it like this. It's similar to a Stafford with D takes C6, although we have the additional option of F5, but it opens the queen, it opens the bishop. Now, the, now one of the coolest lines of the bush gas is with bishop C4, knight to F6, knight takes E5, <laughs> and knight C6. And I think I actually have the engine on for this. I have the engine on for this moment. Am I lagging a bit? Let's close out of some stuff. So with knight c6 here, we actually are letting f7 hang in multiple ways. So it's 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 some super super fun stuff. Uh, and you can check out you can check out more bush gas content on my video. Okay, let's get to the game. In the game, it was knight takes e6. So what Maitlands was mostly playing against me was this knight f3 line with d4. And so that's why with knight takes e6, I'm like, oh, I'm not even prepped here. I'm not even prepped here. What do you expect me to do? What do you expect me to do? I'm not even prepped here. But d5 takes takes. So 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 the point is that we need to stop white from playing d4. Knight f3 prepares d4, and so this line's also covered uh, in in my videos. Okay, so 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 so. What we had in the game. Why are we lagging here? Why are we lagging here? All right. What we had in the game. What we had in the game <laughs> is c3. So c3 is preparing d4 right away, and with queen to h4. We are now threatening f2 and e4. So Mittens could play d4, but queen takes e4 check, and then basically the, the position is now approximately equal. We've gotten our pawn back. And there's another cool trap here, which is if queen e2, we have bishop to g4, which hits the queen, and the queen actually can't hold on to f2. So queen f3 got an exclam for it. She got an exclam for it. Mittens bought. But we play here queen to h6. So we continue to stop d4 by putting a pin here. And now a move that's not even, that doesn't even occur in the Lee Chess database, at least last time I checked, is this move knight to a3. It's a really clever move to defend the bishop and to prepare d4, and it's white's best option. But Mins here plays bishop c4, a slight error there, and we play your knight f6 to defend mate, and castles. So, so she's preparing d4 by defending the bishop this way. And so now with bishop d6, so we realize our scope here is done, f2 is very well defended, d4 is coming anyway, so now we start focusing on h2. She plays here h3. And now I had a decision to make. So, so he, here's the really crazy line I was talking about. So it's with this move, bishop to g4. If you ever get this, you, you, you might think of this. But h takes g4 allows queen to h2. Otherwise, queen takes is impossible because of the knight. And if queen to d3 is actually quite the mistake, I believe after castles, there's like bishop to h2 in, uh, incoming here. And yeah, you see it's like minus two. Because now if you move your queen out of this line of fire, you have bishop takes h3. The queen needed to guard h3. And now after takes, takes, this is just going to be, this is just overwhelming. This is over overwhelming mate threats around here. So, 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 in the game, bishop f4, I got a question mark for it, but I don't know. So, okay, wait, the, the, the line I was going to show, what Min should have done, what Min should have done is this move d4. And so it's, it's pretty crazy. Hitting the queen, hitting the queen. So it takes, takes, right? We take queens. Now take here, take here. <laughs> Rook g8. <laughs> crazy, crazy lines. If you take the knight now, there is check here, Check, look at these bishops coordinating so well together. And so this is double check, there's no f3, and then this would be mate. So, but I for zoom ins would have found this nice move f3. And then so it's it's well, the lines go even deeper here, but but in this position, okay, we've reached an end game. And I think white can pick off like one more pawn with bishop e6, but black can get you know some sort of compensation for it uh there. But 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 so some some re really really interesting lines. F3 is needed in that position. So 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 but that's not what happened. I played your bishop f4. And so that permanently, that, or it really ties down d4. I mean, bishop takes c1 would just win the bishop. And next move, I just want to go g5, g4. Okay, let's turn back on the engine here. We've got the eval bar. Bishop f4 is a mistake. Okay, she, they wanted me to go down this long, complicated line. Okay, rookie one mittens find, finds the best move. And so the point is now bishop g4, which I was threatening last turn, because queen d3, I would have rook d8, which chases the queen away and ultimately gives me the sacrifice on h3. But mittens would go takes and check and then the, the king can now run away that was the point of rook to f1 so 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 let's turn that back off okay so i play your g5 and now the point here is next move i want to go g4 so d4 was now playable because i guess takes there's now rook takes right uh, i i i cut my own queen from controlling the rook and i guess here there's this move queen e3 or something like this so that they don't lose a rook okay Interesting stuff, but g3, okay, take it like this. That was also a mistake. So I, this is a plus 1.85 position, apparently. Bishop f1 was a blunder. Around this time, I was saying Mittens is not infallible, but is close. 
But this is an incredibly difficult position for a human to play accurately. The, the issue white is facing is if they ever take this, the G file combined with the H file will absolutely torch them, right? So this is this is this is very very dangerous. Queen to H1. What an incredible defensive move that is needed to be found. So Bishop F1 still looks like a good defensive move. I'm still not even playing that well. Minus one. If I apparently it says minus one if I go Bishop E6. I go Bishop G4. Queen goes there. Also a mistake. Queen H1 was best. Okay, well, we're both trading errors here, but this is a very, very difficult position to play accurately. And again, I make another error. <laughs> I make another error. I didn't even play that well. Oh, man. Okay. But queen h5, I guess I needed to be taken down a few pegs. <laughs> I needed to be taken down a few pegs. This is certainly doing. But queen h5, basically, I wanted to stop f3 because I wanted rook g8 here. So now Mittens plays this move e5. Again, it keeps wanting this move queen h1 to propose a queen trade. And then if they just trade the queens, then Mittens' king is safe. Okay, e5. I save my knight. Now they take my bishop, which is very, very dangerous, and it's a minus one. The engine is saying just develop, but it's so, so hard to play because you just have no pieces in the game. You just have no pieces in the game. Like, yes, is a plus one position, but even for mittens, even for a god of chess like mittens, she couldn't even play this accurately. It's so, so difficult to defend, even though there's big number on Stockfish. So takes, takes, and it is around here after d3. I was very unimpressed with this move, d3. And you see now it's minus six. I was so unimpressed with this move d3, and I'm like, if this is your best option, after capturing my bishop, right? I mean, this bishop capture, very dangerous, right? The, the engine's saying just develop. After capturing my bishop, I'm like, this is so strong. This g file stuff is so strong. So I just go rook g8. I got an exclaim for it. C4. Okay, it's saying knight d2 is better to, to like guard the f3 score, but it's like minus six anyway. C4, bishop f3. How did I not get any exclaims for this? How did I not get any exclaims for this? I let this rook hang with check, king up to e7. Okay, I get an exclaim for that. I guess king d7 would have been quite the error. Because now if you take my rook, I have mate here. So bishop to f3, the key move, letting this rook hang. Queen comes back. Rook g8, two exclaims. <laughs> two exclaims for rook g8. <laughs> Remember when I said my ego was lowered? My ego is now, once again, through the roof. <laughs> rook g8. Okay, if you take this rook, queen h1 is mate, and now, and now, I'm down a lot of material, even after taking the queen, but all your pieces are doing nothing, she doesn't even have time to take my knight. So she plays knight d2, a good defensive move, but it's mate in nine. It's mate in nine, how many more moves? Oh, we took eight? It took eight more moves, and it's mate in nine. Okay, take the queen. F3, also another good move, and uh, uh, like it's just I got the H file, I got the G file, I got the light square attack. Everything was working in this game. They takes F3 was forced. Takes here. I was spending a lot of time in it, and it paid, and it paid. <laughs> I was playing all the best moves here. So basically, the point is I'm hitting F2 with mate, and I wanted to just go rook H2, rook H1 for mate, but this king was running away trying to hear. But okay, I'm up a queen anyway. I'm up a queen anyway. <laughs> okay, king E8. Dodge out of the way there. Rook H2. I'm doing everything right, and the mate is decreasing. It's now mate in three. is mate in five, mate in four, mate in three. I'm doing it all right. So rook H1 is coming. King goes there. That was also a good idea. Queen takes D3. Okay, I could go check, take the rook, but we ended the game even faster. I didn't even see this. When I went rook H1, this was the power of bush and gas flowing through me to help me defeat a fellow god of chess in mittens. But rook takes A1 was, was what I literally thought I was going to do. And then after king G2, I freaked out. I freaked out. Queen H3. I checkmated mittens in 28 moves with no assistance, with no prep, with just the power. Okay, there was some prep, but only up to a losing position only up to a losing position it was up to here it was just the power of bush and gas flowing through me and we have taken down mittens unreal unreal please subscribe please subscribe it would mean so much and um you gotta check out more bush gas content if it can take down mittens it can take down anyone you can play it i'll link the bush gas playlist below in the original bush gas gambit video the greatest gambit ever i have no words I have no words. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to you all who inspired me to do this. And thank you for subscribing. All right, have a great day. Peace out, Gambit